Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I have another Divi tutorial for you related to the toggle and accordion modules. Today we're going to show you how to add a second line of text to each uh, toggle element, right? So it's nice for a call to action or just to explain, you know, what that toggle element is about. So let's take a look. This is actually pretty easy. We're just using CSS. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link in the description. That's where you'll get the code snippets. All right, so this is a really nice thing, uh, a nice way to have like a subtitle, that, that call to action, right? Prompt them to click on the, the toggle to open it or just provide some context to what's in there. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna do the toggle and the accordion module and they're slightly different. The, the toggle is going to be um, a little easier. We'll show you that, do that first. Same thing will apply to both though. We'll first take the class, um, in this case, PA toggle second line, and then the number one. We'll, sh we'll show you why that number one's there. All right, paste that in there. We're in the advanced tab. CSS ID and class is toggle, and then CSS class, okay. So now we're, now we're gonna have our code snippet that targets this module, right? So that's step one, and then step two is the snippet. It's, it's that simple. Um, right here you can see the snippet is targeting that class that we've just added, right? And then what we're doing is adding a pseudo class, this after, and then, so it's kind of part of the title, right? And then we're saying content, and then this is, this is where we write our custom text, okay? So copy that whole snippet, and then go in here to your page settings. Actually, don't do this. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. You should be putting this in your theme options. You could put it here to just get it started and then copy the whole thing and move it. That works too. Um, but for now, you can see uh, what I've done is add the snippet and the text appeared. And watch this, you know, I could say whatever I want here, right? See that? I don't really want to say that, but... Um, <laughs> that just shows you how simple it is. Now, what I was saying about the number, if I duplicate this and then change that number to two, right? Because it's a, okay, the point is that I'm doing this is you probably wouldn't want that same text for every single one. There would be some cases where you would want that, like, I don't know, see more or open toggle, I, I don't know. But um, normally you would probably want different text, I guess. So that's what we're doing. So right here, watch this. If I say two, now it's targeting that one. And now I could even say two right there so you can see the difference. Um, as the other thing to mention, I have display block. That needs to stay. That's, that's taking the pseudo um, class or element and putting it on that second line. And then the font size, line height, you can change that. You could change the color, font weight, whatever you want to do to style it. That's up to you. We're just providing the base. Okay, so we're done. We're done with the toggle. Do that as many times as you need. Put a unique class for each snippet and therefore unique text. Okay? Now we're going to do the same exact thing for the accordion. We'll go and copy that class. Go over here. I have an accordion module here. Okay, place that in there. PA accordion second line one. And you'll, you'll notice obviously that there's like three parts here already. Um, right here you can see them. Now the problem is that makes this whole thing different for the accordion is that I can't just go in here to, to each one. There's no there's no input field for, the, for a CSS class, right? So I can't target each one of these to put text under each one and have it separate. You know what I mean? So what I want to show you is look under here under the main element. So I remember I'm inside one of these items and then in the advanced tab, custom CSS, main element, when you click the little question mark, you see this here, ETPB accordion item underscore zero. So Divi has this like um, suffix system at the end, so it's underscore zero for the first one, underscore one for the second one, underscore two for the third one. That's what we're targeting. So we're gonna target that, and that makes up that element which is similar to the actual toggle module. I know it's confusing. So first we're adding the class for the accordion module. 
That's in here. We're targeting this whole thing. Then we're adding the, the next selector in this snippet is targeting this individual one. It'll make more sense when you see it. So this first one targets the first item. This targets that second one. And this is the third, obviously. So copy the whole thing and you'll see what I mean here. Go in here and just um, paste that. All right, and you can see right there. So we're targeting that first one, the, the whole thing on each one. And then the second one is different, underscore zero, underscore one, underscore two. And then each of those has different text. So that's how you do it. Um, if you added more accordions, whether they're different accordion modules or just more items, doesn't matter on the same page, whether I duplicated this whole thing or whether I went in here and added more, it doesn't matter on this same page, they're going to count, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it was a different page, you would start over with a different module and a different class, you know, something like two, and then under there, you would start zero, one, two, three, four, five, okay? I, ho I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. We've been doing a lot here on the toggles and accordions. We have several more to go in this series as well, and then we're gonna mix it up as well. So um, we're gonna get into some other fun things as well. All right, so anyway, make sure you're subscribed here and we'll see you all in the next video.